So we write a perform routine first to select the data. Perform like get underscore data. Double click. Create a subroutine. Either you can create a separate include program or we can add in the same. So here currently I am adding this routine in the same program. Okay, and in between we write our logic. So here I will be using the inner join. Okay, so for data between EKKO and EKPO, I will select with the inner join. So in, with the help of inner join, system will fetch the data for common record between both the tables based on the joining condition. Okay, so one by one I will add all the fields. So how to write an inner join condition? Select A, first field from the header table EBLN, then second field from my header table is BS ART, okay, and third field is like AE date, ER num, Lifner. So all these field one by one we have to write. Third field is AE date, then next I want ER num and then next field is lifner that is the vendor id so all those fields one two three five fields i want to select from the header table now from the line item table that is b the first field is ebelp that is the line item number then second i want txz01 that is a description and then I want Matnar. So here it is B. And then next field after Matnar, I want to select as Mench, that is quantity Mench. And next field I will select as unit of measure means. And then next I want net price, net PR. And last, I will select the field as net WR, that is total price. And then here, like from which table? EKKO as A. Because this all the fields assigned with A, I want to select from EKKO as A. Inner join EKPO as B. On. Here we have to give join condition. Okay, so my join condition is a E B L N equals to B E B L N. The common field between border tables is the purchase order number. Okay, E B E L N. So my join condition is E B L N. Okay, so we have written all the fields from tables, join conditions, and into corresponding fields of table G T underscore list. In which table I want to sell the data? In the GT underscore list, which I will define here. Okay, so when we use the into corresponding fields, what system will do? Suppose we are selecting EBLN field from the database table and MATNAL field from the EKPO table. So when we use the into corresponding field, system will enter the value in the respective field where the field name is matching EBLN, MATNAL, MENG in the respective field system will insert the data into internal table okay even if our internal table if the fields are not in the same sequence but when when we use the corresponding system will check and search for the same field name and instead of corresponding if you use only into table so what system will do system will select the database data from database table and will insert into internal table in the same sequence first EBLN, second BSART. Okay, system will not check for the field name. So if you want the data to be selected exactly in the same field name, then use into corresponding. Okay, now very close. Where my A EBLN in S underscore EBLN. So here, in very close why I am using in because those select options we have defined using select options 
if instead of select options if you have declare parameters then here we have to use equal to sign now because here we have defined select options that's why we have to use here in operator okay my second is i want a b s a r t again in s underscore b s a r t third field here a a t in s underscore a t and now one more field here i want to pass if you go to e k k o and display the purchase order here so if you see here this bs tag is f so what is my requirement i want to display only purchase order so that's why here i want to pass by default as f if you're not giving f so maybe system will select all request for quotation and contract all so my requirement is only purchase order details should be displayed so i will pass bs type equal to f so how to write that two options either you can write like this a bs type equal to f this is one method or second method will declare a constant value and will assign here okay now let's add one last value and b matnar in s underscore matnar full stop save check activate no error okay so what i will do i will just replace this hard code value with a constant so it is good practice to use the constants for fixed value so how to define constants like constants let's say c underscore bs type bs typ type ekko bs type and value we want to assign here as f okay so we have defined this as constant so throughout the program this value will not change of this variable hmm? this is our variable so system will assign a constant value f to this variable and then here we will replace this with a variable you can save check and activate okay so like this we have to define constant value and for that we have to use equal to sign now next what i want i want to select vendor name so vendor name i will select from lfa1 okay so before that what we have to do here like sort gt underscore list by lifner and check here if gt underscore list body is not initial because next time i'm going to, to explain the for all entries so now what is my requirement i want to select all the vendors from the lfa1 table which are there in this purchase order record okay so how to write select all from lfa1 into table this time i'm using table gt underscore lfa1 for all entries in gt underscore list where condition where list not equal to gt underscore list list not i will explain the code again see what i am doing here suppose after this select query we have 10 records after this select query we have 10 records in gt underscore list but there are only two unique vendors we have 10 purchase order but only two unique vendors so in second select here system will select only two records from the database table because for each vendor we require only one record for the vendor name okay and why this is important by chance if this internal table is blank okay and if you are not adding this check condition and if the internal table is blank system will select all the record from the lfa1 table so that's why when you are using for all entries you have to check 
the condition the table should not be initial the value which we are passing okay now i have activated the value here so next is build data now we have our record in two internal table one is gt underscore list and second is lfa1 so what we'll do now here like perform build underscore data so we'll pass the internal table value to the final table double click here now i have all my record in gt underscore list so loop at gt underscore list into gs underscore list okay and loop and always clear the work area the structure is called as a work area now what is my requirement for all the vendors this for this vendor id i want to select vendor name from this table so which will contain my vendor name name one if you double click here so name one is the vendor name click on content so this name one this i want to display as a vendor name okay so what we'll do clear gs underscore lfa1 now read table which table i want to read i want to read lfa1 table which contain my vendor data into gs underscore lfa1 which key with which key i want to select a vendor so i will pass a lifner with key lifner equal to now inside this loop my current record is in this work area okay so here we have to write ts underscore list lifner so what system will do system will read this internal table into this work area where the vendor id lifner equal to my current loop record vendor id and if size of rc equal to 0 if our equal to zero, which it is a success. And if so, what we'll do in GS underscore list, we have defined one field for name, vendor vendor name name one. Here, I want to assign value from my vendor table. Okay, this work area field, we are assigning the value. Of this work area now modify what we do to modify table name gt underscore list from gs underscore from gs underscore list transporting name one why i'm writing here transporting name one because i want to add only name one into this table remaining all field i want as it is okay even if you are not writing transporting name one this will also work but it is better to add the fields which we are to modify the table save check activate no error okay what we have done we have selected all the data we have built the data so before displaying the data by creating a field catalog we just do one testing in a debugging mode. So how to set breakpoint? Select this row and set breakpoint. Okay. Direct processing. Initially, I'm not okay. Let's uh, limit the data by entering some purchase order number. So what we'll do? I will pass a purchase order number which contain some record two three records. So this purchase order has three record, three line items. Okay, same purchase order I will pass. Okay, so we have set the breakpoint. So I'm entering purchase order document here and click on execute. 
You can see in the breakpoint is trigger. Now to check the content, double click here, gt underscore list. Here you can see currently zero record. Okay. So if I press F5 here, single steps, see we have three records. Double click. You can see PO number, document type, A date and all. Mat NAR quantity. Okay. So there is a vendor ID. We have one vendor, 1005. And if I press F5, F5, F5. So in GT underscore LFA1, we have one record. So even though here in GT underscore list, we have three records. One, two, three. But there is only one unique record vendor ID. Only one unique vendor is there, 1005. That's why when we use for all entries. Okay, so here we get only single record. Okay, I'll press F5 to build data. So it's going inside the loop and system will select the record. So here size of RC equal to zero. This means that the system has found the record for vendor. Okay, press F5. Now before modifying the internal table, see here the name column is blank. So once we execute that step and it is modified, okay, check the table. Now this time, see we can see the name here in this record. Okay, now just F8. Okay, so our data is coming properly into the internal table. To delete the breakpoint, again click here. Okay, so till now we have selected data and we have built the data. The next option is we'll create a fill catalog and we'll display this data in the output.